the fish tank guy here and welcome to the next video entry in the fish tank tower series where today I will be talking about the plumbing of the entire setup. I have some new lighting. I hope it looks pretty good and I'm excited to share with you guys what I've been working on and the progress that I've made so far. Now, it's hard to get a full shot of the fish tank tower from top to bottom. So while I'm talking, I will give you a nice view panning up and down so you can see the plumbing that I chose for the fish tank tower and how I got everything set up. Now, if you watched some of the previous videos, I talked a little bit about what I was doing differently this time around. And that was, of course, using vinyl tubing as opposed to the traditional PVC piping. I wanted to use vinyl tubing because A, I wanted to try something a little bit different and B, I thought it might be a little bit cleaner and easier to plumb and indeed it was, okay? So essentially I went with three quarter inch everything. I went with three quarter inch black vinyl tubing. I went with three quarter inch bulkheads. I went with, uh, I don't know if these are all exactly three quarter inch, they're not because uh, they need to be a little bit bigger. These are usually seven eighths, these clamps here to make sure I get a good connection here. But um, essentially, as you guys can see, I started from the top here and I worked my way down. So the water will be um, pumped from the bottom sump all the way up to the top aquarium over here. Now, this is where the overflow box is. So as this top tank fills up, the overflow box will fill and the water will drain down into the second aquarium. And then the overflow box for the second aquarium is here. Once that fills up, it will drain down into the third aquarium and so forth down into the sump. Now, there wasn't a real lot to do with this other than screw the bulkheads in and then screw the elbow connectors, also three quarter inch, into the bulkheads. Now, before I screwed the uh, elbow connectors in, of course, I used some uh, Teflon tape there to make sure the threads were sealed nicely so we don't have any water leaking through the threads. But there's not a whole lot of pressure on these points here since they're close to the top of the aquarium and I don't really foresee any issues with leaking. So in terms of how I think the whole plumbing went using vinyl tubing as opposed to PVC, I thought it went really well. Uh, I used PVC on a previous project and cutting everything precise and using the glue and all that stuff, it was just kind of cumbersome and I didn't really feel like doing that again. And the fact that I painted the backs of the aquariums black, I have black tubing, black bulkheads and everything, it makes for a much cleaner look. Uh, you know, a lot of people use white PVC if you have that in a cabinet or something. I guess it's not that big of a deal. But here, since you'll be able to see a lot of the plumbing, albeit you'll only be able to see it in the gaps here between the fish tanks and the stand, I wanted it to kind of look as nice and as clean as possible. So I'll give you one more uh, pan up and down here so you guys can see the entire setup of the plumbing of the fish tank tower. And honestly, this is the last time I will have easy access to it because I'm gonna turn this stand into the wall and I'm gonna fill up these tanks and I'm gonna, not gonna be moving this stand very easily, that is for sure. So once again, I am the fish tank guy. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I'm really excited about the next part, which is going to be actually filling the tanks up, putting sand in the tanks, um, getting everything in place, adding some rock work and actually starting to use the fish tank tower as a working aquarium system. It's not just one aquarium. Since it's three in a sump, it's an aquarium system is what I like to call it. So um, if you haven't already followed me on Twitter, give me a follow at Real Fish Tank Guy. Also, I have a podcast that is available on Google Play, iTunes. I'm starting to post it on YouTube, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check that out as well. So that's all I've got for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the new lighting. I don't really, I'm going to see how it looks in editing, but hopefully it looks pretty good. And uh, that's all I've got. So until a future fish tank guy video, I will see you guys soon.